Muscat is the capital of Oman, a city filled with history, culture, and beauties. So with the help of My Tours Oman, we are visiting Muscat and traveling around at night tonight on their night tour. And we are started strong with a fork. So our guide for tonight is Snowfall. It's basically Snowfall without the S, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he's from Maitor Oman. He's going to take us around Muscat. And we're very excited. Thank you I for having us. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me. This massive yacht there is actually owned by the Sultan of Oman. And it is one of the largest private yacht in the entire world. Mutra Fort and honestly it's probably the best spot to watch sunset here in Muscat. Off to the next spot. Okay so as a welcoming it's kind of tradition that you start with a little bit of coffee and of course dates. My favorite. <laughs> So this in front of us right now is actually the Royal Palace. Beautiful structure believed to have been built by the Persian but was actually renovated in the 70s. There's nobody living inside of it but when there is like guest of honors like presidents or prime ministers of different countries this is where they would actually uh, be received and they would get like coffee, do the photo op and everything, but they would very, very rarely stay inside of it, even though there's actually room. So this is more just for, for photo ops. architecture everywhere and everything is just literally surrounded by mountains and every mountain seems to have like a small fort on them this city is stunning ready to go on a walk Tracy? I'm ready <laughs> it's much nicer at night it's not too too hot now so we're gonna start off with something sweet to try and um, it's halwa, halwa. I'm very, very bad with accents. It's very good though. Right, so this is Oman halwa. It is made from water, starch, ghee, which is butter oil, um, cardamom, saffron, of course sugar, plenty of sugar. <laughs> the sweet and sometimes they use honey yeah. as well. Right, yeah. And they all mix it together for three hours on the fire. This one is made out of the honey and it's his favorite. We'll see if it's as good as he says. Oh yeah, that's my favorite too now. So this was one of the most popular shops here in Muscat and they started with one branch. Now they're pretty much all over the country and we had to bring some uh, back home. So we, we got it back. Of course we did. So now we are walking towards the action here in Muscat. We are going to the Mutra Soup. In the souk you can find a little bit of everything of course um, things for tourists like souvenirs and things like that but also a lot of silver antique traditional dress and even some toys 
But now we are on the hunt for some of the best shawarma in Muscat, according to our guide. This man here has been serving these shawarma since 1977, which is quite a few years before I was even born. That's a good shawarma if I've ever seen one. Wanted to know the YouTube channel and they just told me to tell you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Best shawarma I ever had. <laughs> We actually got really lucky because the shawarma place actually had a 30 minute wait to get a couple shawarma. Um, he was actually making orders for other people, but uh, our guide uh, said, you know, like we don't have a lot of time, so he just uh, snagged us three real quick. So the souk is definitely a must, just like most countries, to be honest. It's really fun to go to those places. And don't forget the bargain, nobody's gonna have hard feelings. Up next, samosas. Those are fresh. Can I take a selfie? Yeah, you can. What was I going to Hello. One for me, one for me. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gentlemen. Beautiful <laughs> jasmine so flowers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it smells very good. Yeah. And now, for dinner, we are at Ali Tani restaurant here at Moscow for an authentic Omani meal. The first impression smell is like a 10 out of 10. Your hands. <laughs> Simple. Just form a grip with your fingers. Put this inside the rice. All right. Then your small finger and your big finger. And this is like a scooper. You just scoop it in. Yep. You see? And then you use this again to tuck it into your mouth. That's where I was going. So Oman is one of those countries where you can eat with your hand, which is the best way to eat food, if you ask me. So, uh -uh, three fingers. This is like the easy part. The hard part is like to bring it to my mouth without putting some everywhere. <laughs> There's work to be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's gonna, like, I've seen better. I'm gonna keep practicing. <laughs> that rice was really good. Um. Our guide is so nice, so we're just like, you know, talking at the table, eating slowly, and as you can see, uh, it's now closed, so we have to leave. <laughs> Delicious though! What a fantastic evening, but that is not the last thing that we're gonna do with Maitor Oman, but we don't know if you're gonna be there. Hopefully you're gonna be there. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, my best. this guy's like the best guide ever. Oh, <laughs> so, so let's not say goodbye, and let's hope that you're gonna join us let's for the that. second activity. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs> By the way, we have our own car during this trip uh, in Muscat. It is a Suzuki and it's super fast, right it's Trace? It's speedy fast. <laughs> so I really think that Muscat at night is a must do in my opinion. Um, it is so beautiful and it's mm -hmm. amazing to see the city in a different perspective where it was nighttime. Yeah. Like it kind of transforms the city. For sure. And let's face it, the highlight the sunset at the fort yeah. that was completely stunning and super cool that they were able to kind of mix a mini food tour into the nighttime city yeah, tour. Yeah, was good. Amazing. The shawarma. Mm. Yeah, a big shout out to this man who's been making so shawarma the souk in Muscat <laughs> for decades. Yeah. Delicious. 10 out of 10 would yeah. do it again. Um, but yeah, Anyways. overall, a big thank you to Maitor Oman for this amazing evening, especially big shout out to No Fall amazing guy yes. um so we're gonna put all their information down below make sure to check them out because they do all kinds of different tour in different parts of oman so once again check them out down below um and until next time see you guys in the next one